On last week's episode, we renamed our 48-foot California and then set out on a five-day trip to Solomon's Island, Annapolis, Baltimore, and St. Michael's. Had a couple Jaeger bombs, caught a few fish along the way, listened to some great music, and saw some very beautiful views. We made it to Solomon's Island on night one, where we witnessed Russell's epic belly flops and watched Russell attempt to teach Mike how to tie a cherry stem with his tongue. Join us now as the journey continues as we pull into Annapolis for more great fun. Hey, baby. Where are we going, baby? baby. Baby shark to Thailand. <laughs> We're going to swim with the fishes, the sharks. We're cruising the East Coast and the miles too. On the Hangover 3, we're living a dream come true. Schoolie plus adventure across the USA. With friends and cocktails each and every day. We're What the Hell Adventures, and that's our name. Living life in full air, playing life's game. We're always Seeking brand new thrill, making memories together, that's what gives us all our thrills. Think it's time we make a change, sell it all and buy a boat, move on board and make it a home, never say goodbye again, spend all day just cruising the coast. So, honey, what do you say? Let's buy a boat and sail away, sail away, sail away. I'm tired of the deadlines we are tethered to. I'd rather be anchored in a harbor with you. Spend all day in a bay than sit. The only care will be where we're sailing to. Let's sell it all and buy a boat Let's move on board and make it a home Never say goodbye again Spend all day just cruising the coast So honey, what do you say? Let's buy a boat and sail away Sail away, sail away Happy birthday! didn't really do that bad so um, we're headed to Baltimore now about two hours yeah about two hours the wind is uh well the waves are going to be broadside on us so it's going to get interesting but hey that's life you know what um looking forward to having you on the trip we'll become Greg Hoover we'll explore the key I'll not the See what we can see. We'll be 
Come, Greg Hooper, we'll explore the key. I'll enough the trivia, just you and me. Sell it all and buy a boat. Move on board and made a home. Never say goodbye again. Spend all day just cruising the coast. So, honey, what do you say? Just buy a boat and sail away. Sail away. Sail away. Sell it all and buy a boat Move on board and make it home Never say goodbye again Spend all day just cruising the coast So honey, what do you say? Just buy a boat and sail away Sail away, sail away This super cool store. I mean, it's like walls and walls and walls of alcohol. It makes us very happy. Our happy place. Very happy. I could just stay here for a week or so. <laughs> called the Lighthouse in Baltimore. Super cool place. Yeah, it is. Very awesome. I just wonder if they got Boone's Farm. I mean... <laughs> what an absolutely gorgeous night here in the Inner Harbor. What another beautiful night we had here in Baltimore last night. The weather was absolutely perfect. We did a little walking around. We went to Russell's favorite place to eat when we are in this area, and that is Nick's Fish House. So if you're in the area in the inner harbor of Baltimore, you definitely want to check that one out. We had Mike's son Austin fly in this morning, and he is going to finish this leg of the trip with us. So we're headed out. Not quite sure where we're going to go yet, but we will figure that out like we always do. So here we go. All right, it looks like we made our decision. We are pulling into St. Michael's Marina. It was about four hours from Baltimore, going about 10 knots. We have decided that we're going to probably spend the next couple days here because it looks like it's going to be bad weather tomorrow. So they have a classic car museum, a maritime museum, looks like a gorgeous marina. And I think we're just going to enjoy the next couple of days docked up here and walk around and see what we can get into. Work, work, all we gone, <laughs> I don't dance. I wasn't in a hurry, so I slowed down to the two lane road to a one horse. Check 
super cute patio. Antique car museum, MG. They got a little bit of everything. Classic here. car museum. Classic car museum. Either way, classic antique classic same thing. Classic motor museum. There you go. <laughs> I stand correct. Uh, yeah, we're just up here. We're getting ready to go to the boat antique uh, boat museum. I guess ain't that what it is? Maritime museum. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be exciting too. This is a beautiful town. So if you ever out. This way, stop in here, definitely. Some very cool cars in yeah, here. Yeah, it is. They're, they're beautiful. What does MG stand for? Motor garage. Oh, no. I love the Cadillac, so you can't you can't beat a Cadillac. So we would definitely recommend you come in to check out the Classic Motor Museum. It's located right in the heart of St. Michael's. If you come and stay here at the marina, it's about a half a mile walk. A truly must see. Sell it all and buy a boat Prove a more and make it a home Never say goodbye again Spend all day just cruising the coast So honey, what do you say? Just buy a boat and sail away Sail away, sail away gorgeous weather. Can't believe it's over, but it's only one of many, many, many adventures. There she is, Cold Point Marina. We visited some beautiful marinas, but we have a beautiful marina as well. Gorgeous beach. Hey, guess what? We made it. We did it. We ain't there yet, but we close enough now. <laughs> we close enough now to call it done. There you go. We're definitely a little tired. Yes, we are. I think we're gonna call this one a success. We are back. Here we pull into the slip, get tied up, call it a day. <laughs> There's no place like home.
To say we're exhausted is probably an understatement. Yeah, it's been an amazing trip. We have been everywhere. I mean, St. Michael's was beautiful. We had a great time. A nine-hour day-to-day getting back to our home port here. and uh, We did six days, 215 miles, um, went four stops, so Solomon's, and then Annapolis, and then Baltimore, then St. Michael's, and then back home today. But, I mean, we just had the most amazing we, we time, did. weather, uh, Everything water. was perfect. We got one storm in Annapolis. Um, it was supposed to be a lot worse than what it was. Thank goodness we tied everything down. We got prepared, and it really wasn't that bad. So we were great. Uh, we drank way too much. Ate way too much. Ate way too much. <laughs> we have seriously got to cut back for a little bit. Um, but we enjoyed ourselves. We did. Looking forward to another trip. I think you know. I'm, I'd, l I'd love to go to. Um, What's that little island? Tangier. Tangier Island. I'd love to go down maybe to Urbana and um, Deltaville. Um, what would be your one word to describe this trip? Incredible. It yeah. was a good time. I would say epic. Epic. It was. Yeah. I mean, it, it, because it's something we don't... Never done. Yeah, never um, done it. They used, this is our first real big adventure. And the boat did absolutely amazing. It did. It did. I, think I, I did a little once over today when we got back. And I've got some maintenance things to do. I've, I've got one engine that's leaking a little bit of water. Uh, I think I got an alternator that may be starting to go bad. I, I noticed that the belt, I, there's dust and stuff in there. But all in all, the 3208 Caterpillars, they did phenomenal. Um, this boat hadn't been pushed in no. probably 25 years. No, it, it, um, the it, owners took it out once a year um, that we were told for um, 4th of July. They took clients out, and that was it. Yeah, so it really got a test. I mean, I, I before I left, I checked everything over, changed fuel filters, made sure everything looked good. Um, it did phenomenal. I, I mean, it really did. I, I know there's a few things I'm going to have to do to take it out again but they're just simple things and and well if you've owned a boat you'll find out that there's <laughs> always something to do that's right i mean always something to do but again this was truly great um we're living our dream yeah we and are. um you know this may not be everybody's dream but everybody has a dream and i would say do it because you're if you wait till you get rich to do it you're never going to do it no. we're not rich no, but we're we, living our dreams. So. We're figuring it out. As we go, we're figuring it out. Every, everybody says you only live once. You live every day. You only die once. You live every day. And we've just decided to do it. I mean, we're not getting younger. And I don't want to wait till I'm 65, retire, and then look back and think I wish I would have. Um, you have to find a way to make your dreams come yep. true. You, you do. You just figure it out. You make it happen. Whatever it takes. Um, but anyway, we, you know, this is this is us. We're gonna continue to make videos. We're gonna start lining up our next trip. Um, we've got several other things going on too. We're actually gonna do another Airbnb, which is gonna be, hopefully, if things work out, a 56-foot blue water yacht that we're gonna put on a piece of property and uh, turn it into an Airbnb. Do a really cool deck and something amazing and that hopefully that'll give us some income coming in and it'll keep us able to do this. So, so until next time people. Yep. Uh, please like and subscribe. It helps us out more than you know uh, and we're looking forward to doing it again. We hope you are too and uh, live life every day. Thanks for watching. Join us again next Wednesday for another epic adventure.